Hi, I'm Christine Spizzo Serrano. I have a studio of my own in Kernersville, Studio Elevé, and it was originally created with the idea of active adults in mind. We have yoga, tai chi, pilates, and ballet, hoop dance, anything that would be moving to music in some way that would help keep older people younger longer. And so my interest in an older population, or geriatric, I suppose, is I don't come to it from a medical background at all, or an intellectual background at all. I come to it because by nature, I myself was a professional ballet dancer all my life. I'm still virtually ballet dancing insofar as I teach at my own studio, and I'm an adjunct teacher at the School of the Arts, and I love love, love what I do. And the more I know about what it is that I do, the more I want to do what I do. And I want people to enjoy that same creative energy and excitement and passion. And what I think the biggest um, thing that, uh, that the thing I felt today strongly about was the topic of creative energy. The fact that elder people have so much still to give, to offer, to, to create. I mean, the, the, the very nature of the artistic environment um, that I've been in my whole life has been so inspirational, keeps me alive and well to this day. Um, I wish there were more time for all of us to do storytelling. I used to think there should be we all know about the talk shows on TV every night. The celebrities get their stories told all the time. But what if we just had a talk show of normal people telling their stories? And I wouldn't be a big money maker, I suppose, but it would be so valuable in so many ways. And that's something I took away from the, the talks today. Everybody spoke so clearly and passionately and in, informatively. It wasn't too medical and it wasn't too technical. It was trying to the, the whole community aspect of uh, focus on aging and the environment and the policies and was was eye-opening to me that there's so much that can be done and should be done and by golly I think there's people around here to be doing it and I'm just going to aim to have people come to my little studio in Curtisville as a part of that so thank you very much this was terrific